What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, it's Saturday. So we're gonna be doing an interesting project, a home project actually at my home. And we've got this walkway or this, this non-walkway that we're gonna put in. Basically, we always wear this path in the grass right here. And so we bought some flat stones and it's something that my family and I, we're gonna be working on. And so we're gonna show you guys step-by-step step how you can create uh, without, you know, having to pour a sidewalk, you can use these flat stones, which we picked these up at our local greenery supply uh, in Waxahachie. And if you go see Bruce or Scott down there, they'll give you a great deal. But um, so my thought is that here at the entrance part uh kind of leading around there because it heads around to where our pool is that i'm going to create sort of a landscape space here we've been updating some things and and doing that on our entrance as well as uh, around our pool and so we were at the auction yesterday we bought a couple things but uh, to kind of go along with this idea i had already previously bought these flat stones and so we're going to create a path that goes all the way down to our pool area um, you know leading from our driveway back to the pool so hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get going so what i'm thinking maybe we're going to do this is kind of what i was thinking a while ago is should we curve out from that corner and then try to somewhat simulate that same shape back there curve out a little bit simulate that same shape and meet this spot that way when we bring the path from here it can cut it off and like i make this whole area right here like decomposed granite so are you going to have stepping stones in the decomposed granite too so start, some of it's going to start out in there and then finish out here yeah hmm. i don't know you don't know all right, we're a little bit divided on what we're gonna do, but uh, we do agree that we wanna start the path over there. So what we're probably gonna do is go ahead and get the skid steer and get a pallet of these. And we're gonna start laying some from that end over to this side. I kinda had an idea that we should just kinda go and pull one off at a time and back up and pull one off at a time. But I think Brandy wants us to pull all the pieces off, lay them on the ground, and decide which one goes where. I feel like this is gonna be the end of me. What do you think? I think that sounds like more work to you? I feel like you should have a plan before you start doing something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's Justice. He's one of our first lineup helpers, standing four foot tall, probably one of the strongest kids you've ever seen. How strong are you there, Justice? <laughs> Show us. Okay. You might say, well, Josh, why are you doing this? Why do you need to do this? Well, if you've ever had a designated area where you're trying to keep the grass and the weeds and all that out of it, then you understand that if I don't remove this, I can't put a good enough base down as far as the decomposed granite. But before I put that down, I want to put plastic. And so you don't want that plastic to be too shallow because the ground uh, well, the decomposed granite will wash away or, you know, every time it gets a heavy rain, sometimes it'll wash away. So if you just started with the existing surface, it wouldn't be enough thickness 
to give you a good base. Look, you want to slide under, you see where the, the grate is right here? You want to go straight and get under that loose dirt right there. You can flatten your shovel. No, 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 not with your foot. Flatten your shovel. Stop. Flatten your shovel right here. See? And go straight right there. Get a, that way you can, you're uh, kind of like grading it, but you're, yeah. It's a little muddy, so you have to kind of work with it a little bit. So here's where we're at. We actually, you know, made this space, just kind of like a little S. Yeah. And we are going to be putting our walk path through the middle of this, but then we're going to be landscaping on both sides. So when we started this this morning, that was the goal to get rid of the surface grass, give ourselves at least two to three inches. So as you can see, some of this is unlevel, but it really doesn't matter because we will be um, using granite and we'll be able to level all that out when we finally put it in. So I did have to leave and go get some granite, picked up a couple other things, or decompose granite is what we're using. Uh, picked up a couple other things that we're gonna need, such as the plastic, uh, but right now I'm going to go see and make sure that I have enough of this border rock because I keep some supply here on me and we're going to go look for that. What do you think? Um, okay. You're excited? At this point is we've laid out our border and now we're going to go get some of the flat stones and we're going to start laying a few of those out um, right there so let's go get her done We're doing now is more of the same we've just about got all these stones laid out um, but we're getting close to being done for the day so as soon as we lay these out we'll have to come back tomorrow update you guys on what else we got to do but I think we've got a lot done we got a whole lot gone or at least that we've gone through. We've got the, all the plastic laid out, all the borders laid out, and we've got most of all these steps laid out. Uh, we had a couple crack ones, but we used them for our advantage to fit into this uh, transition space. And we might have more cracked ones over there, I don't know. But uh, anyways, it's going good, going in the right direction. which is that way. Jensen's helping us out a lot. What do you think? Oh, what? How's it going? Yeah, it's going good. Is this your first hard job or have you done hard jobs before? This probably matches running two miles. Oh, two miles? That's it, huh? 
That would have been easy. We should have just ran two miles. <laughs> so here we are. We're going to take the rest of the afternoon to finish this up. But we weren't able to work on this yesterday um, because it was raining. And I had to smoke some uh, brisket. Actually, not brisket. What was I smoking? I had to smoke some sausage and some ribs. So <clears throat> turned out great. Anyways, so what we've got here is we've got our designated area that you guys saw us till up with the Ford 1900. And as you can see, we created this little landscape space and we've got the border laid. And I think it looks pretty nice. Check that out, guys. Isn't that awesome? So it works pretty good. One of the things you'll notice is that we just laid this out on top of the grass. And this was a spot that we, this area right here, we, uh, <clears throat> we landscaped this area, I don't know, maybe a month ago or so. And so this is kind of what we had in mind. And we had done this as well around our septic system. We've got some weeds coming up through that. But we needed this walk space coming through here so that when our guests come, they can come in through this area. And it's a four foot by two foot uh, stones, which are really heavy. As you guys could tell, Jensen and I were having a great time lifting those up, but he did a great job. So now all we've got to do is uh, pot these plants. Um, which these are huge pots that we got at the auction. Got a great deal on. So we're going to pot these plants, set those in place, and set the boulders in place. So, all right, here we go. Let's finish this up. Okay guys, we got this project wrapped up. And of course, everybody is, all the help is gone. Um, I did a little bit of the cleanup here by myself, but I'm proud of my team and my family for being a part of this project. Um, a lot of them worked hard and right now they're all getting cleaned up for supper time. So anyways, you can kind of see what we did here. This is what we were ultimately trying to do um, you know, we zoned out this area here primarily so we could um, not have to deal with the grass here because we were creating this space. Uh, I knew it was going to be a cluster for mowing the grass. So anyways, and then uh, we've got this, uh, I guess you, I guess this is a Mediterranean palm. And over here, I cannot remember the name of this. I want to say it's a Soto. My wife disagreed with me, but anyways. Uh, and then some pretty good sized boulders. Um, but as you can see, it heads on down. I'll show you the pathway. You can get an idea. So there you go. So anyways, guys. Had a blast doing this project. I'm glad it's over. Now on to the next project. Appreciate you guys following along. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel and let us know if you enjoy videos like this. Uh, like I said, this was kind of just a, a break in the routine. But like I said, if you, you guys enjoy seeing projects like this at our home, then 
uh, like, share this video. If you haven't already subscribed, do that now. Otherwise, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Josh Helm, wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching Texas Best.